So after literally years of rumors, there is finally a Nintendo Switch Pro, kind of, that you can will be able to buy later this year on October 8th, 2021. And it was just revealed this morning in a new trailer called uh, Nintendo Switch OLED. I think a lot of people may not fully understand like what this product is, so I wanted to detail a little bit as to what is going on when Nintendo says OLED and what other tech this uh, new Switch has. So for only $50 more than a regular Switch, so $350 in American or about probably going to be like $450, maybe even $500 in Canadian, you are going to get a device that has a redesigned dock, a redesigned Switch itself, and a minimalist focus design in both of those. So the big feature, obviously, because of, I don't know why they didn't just decide to name this Nintendo Switch Pro, Nintendo Switch OLED model is a little bit of a weird name, but like it's a bit technical, but I mean, it's, it's still fine. So focusing on the screen first. So obviously because it's the OLED model, the big feature is with the screen. Now, if you don't know what OLED technology is, it is essentially, it stands for organic light emitting diode or basically just organic LED. And the difference between that and a regular LED is that OLEDs are able to produce better and more vibrant colors. And the big feature is that they can really show some very deep uh, black colors because what the technology does is it turns off individual pixels when it's like below a certain threshold of brightness. So if a pixel is so dark it'll have a lot more contrast and look a lot more sharp and generally OLED screens are significantly better looking than LED screens and they don't require usually any extra power to run uh, and they usually save battery too because you're shutting off individual pixels. LED does not do this or um, other display types. I believe the only one that might do this I'm not too sure so don't uh, quote me on this is mini LED technology, but that's still pretty far out in um, Development, I don't even think those are in laptops really too much yet But speaking of other devices OLED technology is in most other uh, major new phones that come out uh, Some laptops have them the uh, MacBook Pro if you've ever been to an Apple store the touch bar is OLED so if you've ever um, notice that that looks kind of like fancy or whatever. I mean, it is, yeah, because it's Apple, but that's part of the reason why. And then, of course, with, when just referring to the Switch itself, this is a larger screen. It's seven inches, and it will just probably make for a better experience because I'm assuming it's just going to be in a, the basically the same form factor. Now, besides that, there is some other improvements with the OLED switch. Uh, the big one, definitely, uh, that I can think of is the wide adjustable stand. So, the stand redesign is going to basically uh, just be a giant thing that you pull out instead of like that little stupid plastic thing that's on the switch. Mm -hmm. That's very useful. Uh, I definitely appreciate that because I've had many times, and I'm sure you have too, where your switch just pops, like the stand pops out because it's just literally just, it, it could really just be a 3D printed piece of plastic. It's not that durable. A little bit surprised they didn't decide to move the charging port from the bottom to like the top or something uh, because it's still in a bit of an awkward position. But with this new stand, it could be easier to at least plug it in because you basically couldn't uh, with the previous stand. So we'll have to see how that works. The dock has been redesigned, it looks like, with a, it's not, it doesn't look too different, but it comes with a built-in wire LAN port. So if you want to connect ethernet, you can now do that without having to buy uh, an ethernet adapter for your switch. It has enhanced audio. So I'm assuming what that means is that the speakers have just been improved. They don't, they don't really detail too much with uh, the Nintendo Switch OLED model as to what the big differences are. And it doesn't look like this is any more powerful than any of the Switches. This is literally just a Nintendo Switch with an improved screen, an improved stand, and a new dock, which maybe they'll be rolling out to like an updated version of the Switch in the future. And if you thought the battery range for the previous Switches were pretty big, now it is even larger. It is four and a half to nine hours. I don't know how to feel necessarily about this. I like uh, super minimalist white colors personally, so I like the color scheme that they're going for with this. But I, what I'm mostly thinking about is that this is 
hardly a Nintendo Switch Pro. This isn't really a uh, a big exciting upgrade that people have really been looking forward to or something. This is literally just a Nintendo Switch with an updated, updated screen and more storage, which is something I forgot to mention. It has 64 gigs of storage compared to 32 on the regular Switches, which also is just still like basically nothing. So you're probably still gonna be buying an SD card. So should you buy this model? Well, it depends on what you use your Switch for. I think if you use your Switch a lot, and if you're looking at it, or if you think you're gonna use it a lot, then I, I'd i say go for it. It's only an extra $50 if you live in America, and it would depend on the country. Again, I'm from Canada, and I believe up here it's probably gonna be like not a whole lot more than what it normally costs. What you definitely wanna consider though, if you are even looking at this at all, is that because of how, uh, the big shortage going on with tech right now because of the pandemic hopefully maybe it'll be resolved by october of this year but if it's not you may want to look at pre-ordering this like as soon as you can because i could definitely see a reality where these things are just gone in like less than a minute so that's something to keep up on but yeah that is nintendo switch oled i may make another video about this in the future uh talking about this because I think there's some more stuff to share, especially if you're looking at this, I kind of want to make like a, <laughs> like, like, is this a good buy or something video? But yeah, as of right now, this is, uh, this is Nintendo's pro model and it'll probably be, I'm assuming the last major revision of the Switch before the next Nintendo Switch console or the next Nintendo console. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like and do all that and you know, hit the bell because there's no point in subscribing and not getting notifications, so you should do that too. And I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.